Okay, what I got here is a, just a quick review of this 1950s Les Paul standard gold top. I ordered it straight from Gibson, uh, Gibson Direct. This is actually the replacement for one they originally sent me that had this fret, this last fret was actually sunk in and you could see it in the binding. There's a way I'll load that, those picks for that one in this video. I'll try to get them in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, a better visual of what I, I saw and what was wrong with that one. So I sent it back and they sent me this one. Um, so I'll take the camera off my tripod here in a second. I'll try to get close up, but this is the replacement. Yeah, that's exactly how it came. You see this is broken there. And yeah, that is that replaced, you know, can that be replaced? Yeah, sure. That can be replaced. Should it have to be replaced? No. Not at this price point, no. Shouldn't. Foam pad. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to get this lifted up. And then where you can actually see there is a deep scratch that runs if I can get the light to pick it up that runs there you can kind of see the reflection there that runs all the way down to the truss rod I mean that's deep I mean you'd have to sand through you know probably a millimeter or so that finish to and then you would risk you know I'm sure this is a very thin finish you know and that came from the factory like that I mean that that's not something that happened in shipping could this have happened in shipping sure could have possibly but I I really don't see how um, that looks like something that was there originally and then it just went out like that I, I bought many guitars and I'm this is the first time I've ever seen that in a guitar ship like that um, that arrived to me with that that broken bazel the the pickup frame so i'm just gonna grab this sorry about there and then actually i'm gonna leave that in there and then i flip it over and i don't know if you can see the wood is actually the stain i mean this is a total b stock and i thought it was just my camera laying it here in the original video i just made but if you look this is actually a different it's like the wood took a different part of the stain so that's the color of the entire back what appears to be that color and that's actually a different color and it runs all the way down the neck all the way down sorry i'm trying to get my camera in focus If I bring my camera in, you can you can definitely see the, the difference between this and this. It's totally different. It's like it was touched up. Or or maybe that's just the wood took the stain different. Either way, it's just, it's just not acceptable. And then I don't think my camera is going to pick up. So I'm trying not to lift this out of the case and mess with it too much because it's going back. But there is orange peel all the way down here. On this binding i mean like it was sprayed it's just horrific you can see i get my camera to focus you can see where it starts there and it just goes all the way down and i didn't even look at the other side I should probably look and see what the other side looks like but you spend that much money for or a gold top and that's that's what you get second time around so not not too impressed you know i have an agile uh 30 i think it's a 3100 mcc 3200 mcc not the neck through one just the regular les paul and i got that a few years back probably like four or five years ago um and it just for the, for the four or five hundred dollars I think I paid for it with a case 
it just trumps this. Even the imperfections it shipped with. Um, and that's not the first Agile I bought either. So, I mean, there's something something going up with, you know, I don't like to bash companies, but the second time around, and this is what you're sent, totally unacceptable. And at the price point, it just shows where, where they're, uh, are there, is their quality better? All this talk about their quality being better. I'm not seeing it. This, this is number two. Okay. First one had even more, you know, that, that fret sunk in. If I ever wanted to free, refret, the first one would have been, it would have had issues because that fretboard would have been, had to, it would have had to been leveled, uh, before it could have had a fret job. And yeah, I usually do that anyway, but still, yeah, just not, not too happy. It's other than that, it looks, looks great. Um, does it play all that great? Even with this damage? No, it really doesn't. It really has a crap setup as well. Um, like I said, the Agile that I had shipped, it, it shipped with an even better setup than this has. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at getting one and you're going to get it direct from Gibson, this is probably what you're going to get. I hope that you don't, but this is what I got.